dear daughter Morgana, I will probably be dead when you discover this message. During the excavation of the Louvre, I have discovered a lion-shaped ewer and some engraved ivory tablets. It has taken me years to decipher them. It would seem that the author was Anselm de Beauvais, a 14th century wizard. Listen to me carefully. At that time, Philippe the Good destroyed the Order of the Temple. He seized their treasures and burnt the Templars at the stake. Some of them, the Black Templars, swore to avenge themselves and sold their souls to the devil. They forced Anselm to cast a spell on four objects based on the four elements of the Apocalypse, which they call Satan's Keys. A bowl, a vase with a needle on top, a statue of an Assyrian demon, and a Persian ewer in the shape of a lion. Once brought together, these cursed objects will bring chaos and destruction to the Earth. Such is the Templar's revenge. It seems that Anselm stole the ewer from them, the one which I discovered. I know that the Black Templar's Brotherhood is still in existence. They are looking for the four objects, and they want the ewer that is on show in the Louvre. I have always said that it was dangerous to leave it in a simple glass cabinet. These fanatics are always seen as harmless cranks. Morgana, you now have a risky job. Go to the Louvre, get the ewer and destroy it. You'll at least have done one thing for me in your life. In 1981, the Richelieu Wing, which had been in the hands of the Ministry of Finance, is given to the museum, and the Grand Louvre is born. Between 1984 and 1986, two sites are excavated. This is when I find the lion-shaped ewer and the ivory tablets. But this does not feature in the official history. What is remembered is the discovery of the medieval ditch and the notorious glass pyramid. Now it is hoped to put the collections into the Richelieu Wing, to extend the underground passage and to redesign the gardens. To my mind, if the Black Templars bring about the apocalypse, there is no need to carry on with the restoration work. There won't be anyone left to perform it.
<coughs> so it's you, the one who must come. For the sake of Christ, a woman? Ansem's prophecy spoke of a savior, not of a witch. What on earth's going on here? Well done, Morgana. You know the saying, fools rush in, but this is a really strange angel. Wake up! You have been sent from above to save the world from the Black Templar's revenge. Without you, it will be the apocalypse, death, and destruction. And on it goes. It's just like being in a bad CD-ROM. In any case, saving the world has already been done 2,000 years ago. And that finished on a cross. Try to understand, girl. I, Guy de Sombreval, seeing that my brothers wanted the Apocalypse to avenge the destruction of their order, met with an old wizard called Anselm, who had seen in the stars that a savior would come here tonight to spoil this fiendish scheme. I let myself be taken by Philip the Good's men and sacrificed my life at the stake. Thanks to Anselm's necromancy, I became a ghost. I waited for you for over 600 long years in order to teach you how to destroy the objects of the Apocalypse, Satan's Four Keys. You alone can do it! Now that I am dead, I have no power left except to open the doors of time, thanks to this magic jewel. I am going to send you to the reign of Charles V. There, you will find the other three objects that are coveted by the Black Templars. The Bull, the Eagle, and the Demon Pazuzu. He has a big problem with women, Spookface. Wait a minute. The Black Templars? Well, well, he's telling me about my father's message. Silence. I am sending you to the year of our Lord, 1377. At that time, the Christian world was divided and the Great Schism was near. An ideal time for the Black Templars. All their possessions have been confiscated and Satan's keys are in the royal treasury in the Louvre. One of their men has just turned up. He is the Pope's legate. Yes, these demons have infiltrated the Holy Father's entourage. Find the cursed objects before him, then we will destroy them. Anselm has indeed hidden four plinths, able to neutralize these keys. But the Black Templars murdered him before he could tell where they were hidden. Do not fear, and go through the doors of time. Be careful. I do not have total power over time and matter. When you travel through the temporal spheres, there is great risk of losing some of the things that you carry. Under Charles V, the Louvre becomes the king's residence. The king builds prestigious apartments, a magnificent staircase, and a library in the Falcon Tower that houses some 973 works. He also landscapes a pleasure garden to the north of the Louvre. There he can rest and discreetly receive dignitaries when he wants to resolve delicate negotiations. Let's not forget that, at that time, we're on the brink of the Great Schism, that the church is divided and that this is seen by many as the first sign of the fabled apocalypse. Thank you. 
another step. The Louvre is well protected because the Pope's legate is within these walls. No chance. The dungeon's where the royal treasure's kept. No one's allowed to enter. A messenger from Rome is conferring with King Charles. You cannot go any further. Stop! The corridors of the Louvre are out of bounds. The king is talking inside with the Pope's legate. Savior whose arrival was announced by my ancestor Anselm, but by the hairs on Lucifer's back, a woman? I thought Anselm had talked of a man. I'm filled with terror because this is an ominous sign. Well, here is a powerful spell. It brings to light what has no appearance, for this place is full of dark mystery.
desire. The Holy Father pursues the Black Templars, and he sent me to demand the four satanic objects from you in order to put them under his divine protection. They have been in your royal treasury since being confiscated by Philippe. I humbly beg you to hand them over to me tonight so I can be on my way before dawn. Indeed, we have the eagle and the bull, but we have heard nothing about the lion. As for Pazuzu, if he has evil power, it must have been locked away. There is a manuscript that tells of such secrets. Let's try to gain time. Go and get the satanic keys in the treasury with the clerk. As for us, we will look for this manuscript in our library. Master of the horse, go to the library. The king will hand you an important manuscript that you must bring to me in the treasury. And don't forget to give him St. Blaise's relics. They are a gift from the Pope to gain its support against the Avignon rebels before the Great Schism.